Canadian-based IO Industries is one of the many camera manufacturers partnering with Skahoy. So IO Industries, they make industrial cameras. You'll find it in scientific, in medical applications, in defense applications, machine vision, and also broadcast and cinema. This is the Victorum 4K camera. Small form factor and uh, very useful as a POV camera, obviously. And in this demonstration, we have hooked it up with the RCP. The way they are connected is um, kind of important because this is serial based cameras. Many cameras in this form factor and size do not have an ethernet plug on the back side. So they have an RS422 or 485 or even RS232 connection. This is why we have these two boxes on the table today. They are serial to ethernet converters. So even though your Skahoy device is PoE, that means power over ethernet, single cable solution connected to your network, they can still operate cameras based on serial protocols like um, this IS485 uh, camera. So each of these converters sit between the network and the cameras, and this is how the RCP here will control them. You also see the picture from each camera on um, the screen, and uh, you'll see how this RCP equipped with a fader allows me to turn up and down the um, aperture in this lens. So the lens control cable here means the command for aperture is communicate it out onto the lens so you can uh, you can control this parameter from the RCP. One of the most basic things you want to do from an RCP, of course. Also, the way we have um, chosen to, to configure this RCP is by using these two buttons as camera selectors. So you'll see camera number one and camera number two on uh, these two buttons. So now I'm on camera number two, camera number one here. You'll see other videos where we use uh, these buttons for camera selection. For instance, if there was um, three cameras. Sometimes we use this encoder up to, to change uh, channels, like we do for the frame synchronizers from AJA, or we could use the eight buttons up here as a camera selector. That all depends. In this case, we have a dual camera configuration on this RCP. So let's look at some of the parameters we can control. And these buttons are in a, in a sort of classic sense for this RCP configuration designed to be a menu selector. So as I'm changing um, or pressing these buttons, you see the uh, parameters up here are changing. Obviously, this encoder will now uh, change the exposure mode of the camera. I'm, well, yeah, I can do that. Uh, so now it's auto, it's fixed. Uh, we have gain mode, iris. You can see the, the camera is uh, responding to these changes as well. Gain plus iris and so forth. And uh, now back to fixed. The shutter speed, um, I'm not sure I want to change that because my recording might um, break. Um, ISO speed for the sensor gain here. Um, another way of setting that would be through the gain parameter over here. So you see that's basically two different ways to the same parameter. Yeah. So we have uh, automatic exposure compensation, target, um, max value, and so forth. Let's look at the next menu where we have uh, tracking white balance, the speed of it, um, one push focus, and color temperature. So we can change the color temperature. And in this case, um, we, we made a configuration where if you uh, want to reset to a 3200 color temperature, you can simply press this button down here and you'll see as I'm now pressing this button, I get that color temperature and it's also changing up there. So in fact, that's an example of the same action inside the RCP connected to, um, in this case, a button with a preset for 3200 and up here to an encoder where turning the encoder will simply take you through the available range. Below here we have the offset RGNB. So obviously if I'm changing this value, we have very visible results on uh, the painting of the picture. Let's just um, turn it down there a little bit on the iris. And um, finally we have saturation here. We have default values. We have uh, neutral, I think. And then we have uh, a value I call no clue. I think it's probably no color actually, but um, I'm not really sure. If we go to this one, we have uh, black balance settings, uh, red, green, and blue. Again, we just turn the knobs. Uh, if we press the knob, we get larger value changes right there. I can go to matrix settings where we have matrix RR, RG, and RB. So basically nine settings. And uh, the last, the ninth setting was uh, hidden on the second menu here, where you also have access to uh, 1D and 3D LUTs. So let's try to uh, select some LUT tables here for the picture. And 
Again, we have very visible results from this. As far as I know, this is something you upload to the camera using the software that uh, comes along with the camera and the same for the 3D LUT as well, which is currently off. Um, actually, quite powerful as well is the fact that we can enter the menu of the camera. So if I press this button, you see the menu is popping up on the first camera here and it uh, allows me to um, go into some of these configurations. We could go to the exposure mode and for instance, take a parameter like target down here. That was the target for the automatic exposure compensation. And you see those values are um, exactly as you would expect. So that was the quick demonstration of the Victorum 4K camera from IO Industries and how it works with the Skahoi RCP using uh, fairly inexpensive serial converters that also provide a lot of flexibility for your infrastructure cabling because most likely you have very easy time um, getting network access anywhere on your set while uh, draw, dr uh, dragging long serial cables is, is usually not your favorite um, afternoon activity. So I think having serial converters connecting serial cameras to the network is in fact even an added bonus of working with modern control hardware like Skahoy controllers.